Hi, and welcome to my video on how to set up Amplitude 3.5, in this case, to respond to the expression pedals on the FCB 1010. And what I'm going to do is map the um, one of the expression pedals to volume, to control volume with an Amplitude 3.5, and the other one to control the wah. Now, there are a number of steps that you have to go through in order to do that. I'm going to cover each one of them off as we go through here. So the first point is, uh, while I'm on a, a Mac here, um, the same concepts apply to uh, a Windows environment. It's just that the editors are going to be different than what I'm talking about, the editors for the FCB 1010. You can program the FCB 1010 manually, or um, you can use the Ripworks editor that's available for the Windows platform, or in my case, I'm using IFCB, the IFCB editor, um, that's used to program the FCB 1010. And this is the software that you see right here. So I think the, the first thing to really talk to here, um, and uh, sometimes uh, people kind of lose track of this or don't really understand the, the subtleties here, so I'm going to talk to this. And that is expression pedal A and B on the FCB 1010. They can be assigned differently to each and every foot switch. So for example, Right now, I'm on bank zero, 00 foot switch 1, and I've got uh, expression pedal A sending out CC7, and B is sending out CC11. Now, if I go to switch number 2, bank zero, 00, now in my case, it's 711 again, but the point being here is that they could be completely different. So that means that you can have a completely unique expression pedal set up for every single foot switch that you have associated here. That's a really important point. Sometimes what happens is, for example, when you turn on the FCB 1010, uh, you won't have selected any of these, these switches, so none of the lights will be um, lit up. And I've had uh, some folks send me some, some messages saying that they're, you know, they're having trouble with, uh, with amplitude recognizing the pedal. Sometimes it's purely because they haven't pressed any of the foot switches first to call up the programming for expression pedal A and B. So again, just a, just a very key point. So it's, a, it's a small point, but it's really, really important. OK, so let's just go back to IFCB here. So in my case, I've programmed expression pedal A to use CC7. And CC7 is the common MIDI control uh, change message that is used for, for volume. I've set the minimum value at 0 and maximum value at 127. So what that means is that if the pedal is at the heel down position, it's going to be at the zero range. And as I sweep that pedal forward, it will range all the way up zero to 127, and 127 will be the toe down position. So I should get a smooth sweep through those, those values. The same thing goes for expression pedal here, uh, expression pedal B, which sends CC11, the same thing. Uh, I should get uh, uh, a smooth range as I go up from 0 to 127. Now, again, you can set that to whatever you want. If, for example, you wanted to do 80 to 120, you know, you could do that. But typically for maximum control, you would set the minimum at 0 and the maximum at uh, 127. In my case here, I've already programmed um, these two expression pedals to do just that. And we're going to take a quick look just to make sure that, that that is working. I'm going to call up my MIDI monitor here. And let me just clear this off. And I'll tell you, I'll deselect my MIDI here and select it again just to make sure that I'm getting everything. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to rock one of the pedals forward. And as you can see what's happening here, so there is CC7 is being sent. And as the values are fairly smooth, you know, 0, 127. I'm going to do the same thing. I'll clear this first so you can actually see it. I'm using the uh, the other expression pedal now, or the pedal that's used for CC11. And I'm rocking it forward. You can see CC11. And it's sending values from 0 up to 127, and then 127 down to 0 again. So I know at this point in time that my FCB 1010 has been programmed properly to send those CCs out. That's the very first place that that you want to check, uh, because Amplitude uh, isn't going to do any of the mapping or respond to anything unless these CCs are going out. Now, there's an equivalent program uh, to the Mac one that I'm using. And again, on the Mac, I'm using uh, an application called uh, MIDI Monitor. But there is uh, an app on the Windows platform. 
and it's called MIDI OX. So you can get that right here, uh, www.midioax.com. It's very similar to MIDI Monitor, and what it will allow you to do is capture or monitor all the MIDI messages that are coming out of your FCB 1010. Really important tool, tool to have. So again, MIDI OX on the Windows platform, and on Windows it would be MIDI Monitor. And MIDI Monitor is available from www.snoise.com, S-N-O-I-Z-E.com. So download those. Uh, they're very, very helpful when it comes to diagnosing problems and figuring out exactly what's, what's going on. Okay, so at, th at this point in time, uh, my FCB 1010 has been programmed to send CC7 on one pedal and CC11 on the other. Now the other kind of common problem at this point is if you go through and you do this and you're, you're for some reason you're still not getting the right values, you sometimes have to recalibrate the pedals on the FCB 1010 itself. This is a common issue, um, and the way you want to do that is follow the instructions that are in the the FCB 1010 manual, and that's right here uh, on page 12, I believe it is. Yeah, starting on page 12, you can see right here, calibrating expression pedals A and B. Starts on page 12, goes on to page 13, and these are the steps that you have to follow right here. So you have to go through these and follow them absolutely identically. And uh, after you go through that, your FCB 1010 pedals will be calibrated, and then you need to do the MIDI programming again. So that should work. Again, uh, just to recap, what you need to be able to do is, um, assuming that your pedals are calibrated, you, you then go in and do the programming and just assign whatever values that you want. Again, I've used standard CC7 and 11. You can use whatever you want, but um, program those so you sweep through minimum values 0 and then up to 127. Then go in and confirm that. Now, after you've done that, we'll just go over to Amplitude 3 and let's just look at the... Um, just check the level. So yeah, so I'm on version 3.5.1, so that's fine. Now, if I want to use one of these pedals for volume and the other one for wah, the way you're going to do that is just go down to this MIDI tab right here, click that, and you'll get this window right here. So there's two different views here. Click on the global setting, because this will set the volume and the wah global. Uh, are globally throughout Amplitude 3. And this will, this will then map to every single preset within Amplitude 3. So the first thing I'm going to do here, I'm just going to go over to Volume. And as you can see, there's no CC assigned. And I'm going to click the Learn. And it's waiting for my MIDI input. And I'm going to sweep through that a few times. And you can see in IFCB that my range is going up and down. So that'll have learned it. And I'm just going to click OK just to save that. But let me just go back in again and just make sure that we're OK. And then I'm going to click on the Y here. I'm going to do the Learn. And in this case, I'm going to move my other expression pedal. And there we go. It's recognized CC11. And it's going right through everything. So that's OK as well. OK, so right now, and again, we can just double check that. Uh, volume is being mapped to CC7 and was being moved uh, mapped to 11. So they're all good. So now what we can do is if we call up uh, a preset that already has uh, the WA in it, then it should automatically have been uh, mapped to it. So let me go in here. I'm just going to search for any WA type uh, presets here. And uh, let's just go into any of these, uh, I don't know, let's just choose this guy here. So if we look at the if we look at the stop boxes, uh, it might be in B, I'm not sure. Oh, I know, I didn't, I don't think I double clicked it, so let me just do that again. So I've got all the was. There we go, I've loaded it here. Let's check, take a look at the stop boxes. There we go, stop box A. So you can see both volume and wa in this case are here. So let me just move my volume pedal. And as you can see, in Amplitude, it's controlling my volume pedal. And you can also take a look over at FCB, and you'll see that, uh, that that's moving up and down as well. Let me look at the wah, which will be 11. And right now, that's controlling the wah as well. 
So that tells you straight away that since I've got the global mappings, that it's, it's already on there. So that is very straightforward, and, and that should work globally. If, for some reason, um, you want to go in and, and do this on a per-preset basis, you can do that. Uh, what we could do here, for example, is um, let's go into a whole other preset. So this one doesn't have a wah, and I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go in and I'll actually clear off uh, the wah mapping here. So let me just do a clear, and as you can see, it's no longer mapped. And I'll go in and I'll add a wah here. I'll move my pedal, and you can see it's moving in the editor, but it's not doing anything in um, Amplitude 3.5. So the way that we would do that, do a right click, choose Assign MIDI, Learn Wah, and at this point it's waiting for the MIDI input. I'm going to rock my pedal, and as you can see, it has mapped the pedal to the Wah. Now, the way that you can check that is if you go to MIDI, and you look at preset, so you can see again there's no global setting for the Wah here, but if you look at the preset, you can see right there it's mapped CC11, to the Wah for this preset. Now, that means then that um, that this mapping exists only for this preset. You'd have to save the preset uh, in order to make sure that it retains that uh, mapping. But again, if you wanted to just um, uh, make sure that you have that uh, globally, um, again, we could do that. We'll just go into here and just do the learn once more. And that's that. Click OK. And now my wash should still be moving, which it is. So that's it. Basically, it's a fairly straightforward process. But again, just to recap the different steps, um, go into your FCB 1010 and uh, program it there so it's sending the right CC uh, with the proper range. Check to make sure that it is sending those values out using your using your monitor, either MIDI OX when it comes to uh, Windows or MIDI monitor if you're on the Mac and just make sure those values are coming out then finally do the map within Amplitude 3 and if you've got those the, the, the mapping done it should be fairly straightforward when you get to Amplitude 3 and again if for some reason things are failing calibrate your pedals and go through that process a couple of times just if it isn't working because there's a lot of uh, little steps there and you just have to make sure you follow each and every one. Okay, that's it. Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, please post any questions or comments, and uh, I'm, always, uh, I'm always glad to hear everybody's, uh, everybody's comments. Take care and all the best.